Hey everyone, welcome to Fox Constructed episode three. This episode is gonna be combos and routes, things that do work with Fox, things that don't work with Fox, when they're going to work, and most importantly, the really extreme stuff. If it's even worth going for, if you sh when you should go for it, everything you need to know. All right, as everyone knows, Fox obviously has a lot of combos. He has a lot of things at low, mid, and high percents that will help him combo very easily. He doesn't really struggle to get the damage, so this is going to be the fun part. For combo starters, we have Nair, dash attack, up tilt, down tilt, F tilt, side B sometimes, bear, falling up air, and dare. There is a lot to work with, but you need to know how to work with them first. Before going into this, I do want to add that I do think Smash Stick is the better preference for Fox players. It is what you're most comfortable with at the end of the day, but Smash Stick helps Fox get those kill confirms with up smash. It's going to be your main killing route and you're going to get the damage no matter what as a Fox player. You don't need to do special combos with Tilt Stick. So first we're just going to be going over the 0% to 30% combo range. We're going to be starting off with Nair first. So first up on the Nair list, we have Nair to Jab at 0%. This is a strong 0% combo. It's very safe on most characters because you're landing on them with strong Nair. And it does a good amount of damage. You could do anywhere from like 20 to 27%. That is a very good move. That's a very good combo that lets you get off to a range where you could start getting the better and heavier combos. Okay, so here we're going to have Strong Nair into Grab. This one's good for a multitude of reasons. One of them being that if you don't react to actually hitting them with Strong Nair, or Soft Nair for that matter, you could still do a Grab mix up on their shield because it's a really good option versus most of the cast. Another thing is, if you do hit them, not only are you going to get good damage still over 20%, you're going to get better positioning than you would have if you were to do Nair Jab because you could choose where you want to throw them. So next we're gonna have Strong Nair into Dash Attack. This one is probably the one I recommend the least, just for the fact that you could get Strong Nair into Dash Attack up till afterwards, but you have to learn so low to the ground that the timing is very tight. It's gonna be very hard to hit on a bunch of different models of characters, and you could end up putting yourself in a very punishable posi position for that. All right, at a slightly higher percent, we have Landing Nair into Up Tilt Strings, which is really good. You get a lot out of it. And if you decide to end your up tilts when you realize that you can't do them anymore, instead of going for like a true combo Nair, or you can instead go for a mix up where you could catch their landing, you could wait for them, you could try to parry, see how they expend their next option. It's really good for doing a lot of damage and it's really good for burning their options. In some scenarios, you can even end your up tilt early and you can do F tilt and put them in a tech chase scenario. It's a very good combo and one that you're gonna wanna be using a lot as a Fox main. Here at a slightly higher percent is probably one of my personal favorite combos, which is going to be landing Nair into down tilt. This is a very good one because it leads into a lot of mix up. If they DI in, you can get up air strings. If they DI out, you can still do a raw bear. In some scenarios, if they DI like either in or like slightly out, you can do a fair drag down and it allows you to get a tech chase scenario or whatever mix up you want. This string should always lead to high percent and very good positioning it's your imagination and it's whatever you want once you hit this string just do what is best for you and what is worse for your character that you're going against like i said landing nair into down so is one of my favorite combo starters at higher percents probably around 30 you can use it at soft nair and soft nair will still combo into the down tilt and you can still get a lot of damage there it's something you're really gonna want to learn how to use as a foxman All right, next we're gonna be going into dash attack. All right, starting off with dash attack, we're gonna have dash attack up till at 0%. It works at slightly higher percents as well. This is a very weird one because this setup could put you negative versus some characters. You wanna be careful versus who you use it against and versus characters that it doesn't put you negative like versus it will put you in a scramble scenario a scramble scenario where you do have the advantage because you are the one creating the scenario but it does put you in a scramble if you are not good at scrambles i would recommend staying away from this mix-up but if you are good at scrambles and you like creating that scenario where you have like when your backs are faced to each other and you have like the last hit 
then I would 100% go for this. It is something that I go for and it is something that can be very useful, you know? I think the scramble will usually work out in box mains favors because you're the one creating it. It's worth noting that dash attack up tilt is technically negative on the entire cast, but most of the cast doesn't have the frame to actually punish it or deal with it. So they end up having to do an air dodge, a jump, or something like that after the up tilt, which creates a mix up scenario that benefits you. Some characters do have the tools to deal with it, which is why it is negative on hit versus others, but most of the cast does not have the frame data too. Next up, we're gonna have dash attack into F tilt. You are a god if you hit this combo. It is a very hard one to hit because it's a very specific hit of dash attack. You have to hit the front hit, but if you do, you get a nice combo string that you could either lead into more dash attack F tilts or you can lead into dash check into up tilt and they're at a higher percent, so it will just chain better. It is a very hard but very useful combo string. Other than that, there are not many other things that dash tag leads to at a lower percent range. So the best thing you can do after hitting a dash tag and you feel like it's not going to combo is you could either try to parry an option. You could flick your shield to parry if they throw an attack, or you can go for an air dodge read or a jump read. It's very easy to go for these reads when you have the advantage because they're in the air. So feel confident in doing them and you'll get a lot of mileage through it. All right, next we're gonna be going into up tilts. Up tilt does a really good job of just comboing into itself. If you don't combo into itself, your other option is comboing it into a nair or an F tilt. And it also has the same effect as a dash attack where you can create a mix up where you could flick your shield for a parry or just go for a jump air dodge read as well. And next we have Detail, a really good move. Not Fox's main combo starter, but one that he wishes was his main combo starter because it just always leads to a lot of damage. Down tilt can lead into fair that leads into up airs or another fair if need be. That same fair can be led into a drag down stat that leads into a jab lock, and if not a jab lock, a tech chase scenario. It could also lead into down tilt bear which leads into dash tack, up tilt, and to a mix up scenario. And finally, it could also lead into up air. If you haven't been able to tell by now, this move leads into pretty much anything and you can get very creative with it. Here you're going to be seeing a down tilt into fair drag down, letting the last it hit so you can hit a rising fair into up air. This combo does 56%. It's very strong and it's very technical. You can do a lot with down tilt. Another example of a wacky combo would be down tilt into bear bear dash attack. On floatier, on floatier characters, you could definitely hit down tilt into bear bear up smash or even get more creative than that. But this is a very good idea of how this move gets very technical and does a lot of damage. Next up, we're going to have F tilt. And as you can imagine, there's not going to be too much here. In between 9 and 20% character dependent, you can do F tilt into dash tag. It's really all you have for F tilt at the lower percent though. Next up, we're going to be having side B. This is something that really should never be used at lower percent, but my job here is to give you everything. So here we go. Depending on the hit of side B you get at lower percents, you are pretty much going to be hitting nothing, uh, this, which is why I strongly don't recommend it. It's really just not a safe option. But if you do manage to hit it at a lower percent, you can create a jump read, a parry read, or an air dodge read. It just depends on what you want to go for. If you manage to hit the right hit of side B at lower percents, then you could combo it into a bear, which should lead into a dash attack. You already have the other mix-ups, but this is a true combo. And if you're a psychopath, you could actually do side B at 0%, which combos into F till, which combos into dash attack, into imagination. Again, it's something that is very rarely ever going to happen. And it's something I really do not recommend, but it is something that is possible as Fox. And next up, we're going to be talking about the move Bear. Starting off, we're going to be having Landing Bear into Dash Tack, a very quick, easy bread and butter. For all my tilt stick lovers, we have Landing Bear into Turnaround Down Tilt. We can do it as well if we use Smash Stick, but it's obviously much easier if you use Tilt Stick. For you who like to use it, it's up to you. Next up, we're going to have Bear into Dash Tack into F Tilt, a very strong option that can lead into another Dash Tack, but it's really important to use because it can get your opponent off stage and it's very good positioning for Fox. Next up, we're going to have Landing Bear into Jab, a strong combo, but it's not one that I would recommend. It is good damage, but it doesn't put them in a position where you could really like capitalize on it. I would highly recommend only doing this if they're at the edge of the stage so you could jab them off stage. 
Next we have Lightning Bear into Dash Grab. This is a very strong one as well because again, it's not the most damage that you can get as a Fox main, but it also leads to great positioning and it does moderate damage. And next up we have up air. Starting off we have sure how up air that leads into another up air if you full hop it. If done correctly you actually can fast fall this which should lead into more up airs. Up airing is more about how you position yourself when you do them which allows you to just, just get more up airs. Here we have a falling up air into up tilt. This could create a scramble scenario or it could also make your opponent burn their jump. Depending on what they do it could either be a kind of good scenario for you or a really good scenario for you. More combo starters that you can do at lower percents or pretty much at any percent with up air is falling on somebody with up air. It does lead into a lot of things, but I personally do not recommend it because falling up air is a very small hitbox and it takes a good amount of time to set up. You can get swat out while trying to set it up or you just might not even land it at all. So I really don't recommend going for it. If you do understand how to use it, then go ahead and do it. It does lead into a lot and have fun doing it. Something a little bit more useful than falling up air, we're gonna be leading on into Dare now. Dare has really strong combo routes, and when you hit auto cancel Dare, it pretty much leads into guaranteed like 40 to 50% per hit. So starting off with the landing there, we have landing Dare into Jab, a weak but doable conversion. Next, we're gonna be having landing Dare into Dash Tag, a good conversion that can create another mix of scenario, another scramble for you to win. Auto cancel Dare is a move. This move leads into fair, leads into up air, it leads into a lot of stuff and you can get a lot of damage for it. Especially if you catch someone's jump in mid air, you can do a lot with this move. Again, this move can lead into a lot of things, it leads into imagination, you can get a lot of damage and good positioning for it, so you need to learn how to use this move. Okay, so now we're gonna be talking about combos at mid percents, 40% to 60% range. Let's get right into it. First off, we're gonna be starting off with Nair Dash Tack, a combo that puts them in a pretty bad position depending on where they're at at the stage. Next, we're gonna have Nair F Smash and to Nair Up Smash. Nair Up Smash is not one that I really recommend, but Nair F Smash is one that I will just for positions where you want to get your opponent off stage that bad. There are other ways to do it, but if you're not too confident in your routes, this is a beginner way to get your opponent off stage and do a good amount of damage. At the top of mid percent, we have Strong Nair into a tech chase scenario. This is a really good one because Fox is one of the best, if not the best tech chasers in the game. He gets so much out of it. So this is a really good scenario that you want to create a lot of the time. If you manage to hit a soft hit in there instead of a strong hit, you can still combo into grab and get very good damage and positioning off of it. Another thing you could do with soft nair is to soft nair into down smash. Again, something I wouldn't really recommend unless you were at a lower level and you were just trying to get your opponent off stage with a good amount of damage. It is something that you can do, but there are better options as well. You could also combo soft nair into hard nair. Wow, go figure. And doing this creates a very good tech chase scenario. Remember, we want to create those as a fox main. One of the stronger options for Fox in this percent range is Soft Nair into Up Tilt Strings. It can lead into a lot of damage and very good mix up slash scramble scenarios. Again, Nair is one of your strongest moves as a Fox main. It's very good for using at pretty much any percent and it's really strong to land on your opponents, especially when they don't have an option to deal with being landed on. Moving on for 40 to 60% combos, we have Dash Tag. Starting off with Dash Tech, we have Dash Tech into Up Tilt, a rather weak conversion because it barely connects. It's not one I would personally recommend. You can also do the same conversion even if you hit a late hit Dash Tech, but it's pretty much the same end result where you just don't really want to go for Dash Tech into Up Tilt. Next, we have late hit Dash Tech into F Tilt. This can create a mix up, sometimes combo into Dash Tech, or make people burn their resources. Not a bad option at all. It's definitely one I'd say you want to go for sometimes. Another way to convert off late dash attack is also just waiting for your opponent to expend one of their options, which can be attack, air dodge, or jump. Either way, waiting for one can still be a very strong option. I think it's very important to express that if you don't have a combo that you can do as Fox, it's the worst thing to do in the world if you try to force it. The best thing you can do in those scenarios are wait and understand that your combo is not in fact a combo. It, flickering your shield is a very strong option in these scenarios because not only does it cost like just a few frames to do it you don't move anywhere and you don't position yourself in a weird way so if your opponent does jump or air dodge you should still be in position to punish them and if they do draw an attack since you flickered your shield your parry should cover that as well 
this is a very strong option as fox and one you will find yourself doing all the time if you were playing fox correctly next up we're going to be having dash attack into fast fall fair this conversion really only works on people with frame 4 air dodges is worse but it could also work in scenarios where people choose to not throw out an air dodge if they throw out an attack that's not that fast or try to jump and they have a bigger body you can just catch them and drag them down as well okay moving on into up tilt as everyone knows, we have up tilt has up tilt loots that leads into really good mix up slash scramble scenarios and sometimes can lead into jump callouts, air dodge callouts, or parry callouts. Okay, next up we're going to have up tilt into F tilt, which if you do not angle this move, it will not put them in a tech chase scenario at this percent range. But if you do angle it, it will put them in a tech chase scenario, which obviously is what you're going to want to go for here. Tech chase equals good. Here we have up tilt into sure hop dare, something I don't particularly go for, but it is something that is a doable option. If you do it correctly, you can leave this into a dash grab or a dash attack and get good mileage off it. The problem with doing this option is that dare is not a very big move. And if you try to do this and you don't move your dare in the correct spot, they could fall out of your dare because you did it improperly. It's still possible to do, but I'd be careful doing it. Next up, we have up tilt into fair. It's a move that if they DI in, it will put them directly above Fox. And if they DI out, it will probably put them off stage or just slightly away from Fox. Either way it is a very good position. Okay, so in the 40 to 60% range, down tilt doesn't really have as many uses as it does at lower percent. That's really when you're gonna wanna use it, but I'm still gonna show you what you can and can't do with down tilt. Okay, for down tilt, we're going to have down tilt bear and down tilt fair, both short and simple combos that do good positioning and do good damage as well. Next, we're going to have down tilt up smash. This mainly works if they DI in. It can be character dependent, but otherwise it's a DI in mix up. Down tilt into up air works as well. Again, on DI in, a very strong conversion if you can catch them lacking. The strongest option that you could do on DI out is down tilt into fair drag down tech chase. Creating this scenario again is very strong and this is the best thing you could do with down tilt at this percent. Next up on the list is F tilt and the only thing it really does in this percent range is create tech chase scenarios. Obviously that is very good and very strong for Fox. It just doesn't do much other than that. Next, we're gonna be talking about side B on this list, and this move just gets better and better the higher percent you go. It's still not a very safe move, but it does get better because it just gets less dependent on where you hit it. You don't have to hit it full range or very close up. You can basically hit this for anywhere that's not immediately in their face and get damage for it. Starting off with the things you could do with side B at this percent is side B into fair, a very simple thing you can do, but it's very strong and good positioning as well. Next up, you have side B into up air and side B into bear. Side B into up air is obviously the stronger one, but side B into bear is something you can do as well if you're not quite in position. As you get higher up percent, bear becomes more of a laundry move, more than a combo move, and it's something you're gonna be using just for putting on pressure and getting your opponent off stage in a really uncomfortable position. The things you can do with it though is that at mid percent versus heavier characters, you can combo back air into a combo string, but not really on anyone else. And then of course, the same thing you could do on the characters that are not super heavy is create a tech chase scenario, as we talked about, very strong. Moving on into up air, up air is very self-explanatory. It combos into itself and does really good damage. Another thing you can do with up air at low percents is do a falling up air into rising dare into bear, a combo you will never see me hit, but if you do hit this combo, you are rather sick for that. And finally, we have falling up air into drag down fair. Again, falling up air isn't super viable, but if you do manage to hit it, doing a drag down into fair is a very good option because it creates Fox's favorite tech chase. Dare a move that's always going to be viable no matter the percent. It doesn't get any stronger the higher percent it goes. Like the combos just get simpler, like probably one hit after dare. The reason it's still so strong though at combo percents is because it's still like a very safe option to go for, going for auto cancel dare or dare mix up on people's shield. So though the combos are not strong, you will find yourself doing these mix-ups very often if you're playing Fox right. Starting off, we have a simple dare into dash attack. This leads into another mix-up where you can create parry, air dodge, or jump at scenarios. Next, we have auto cancel dare into a fair drag down tech chase, a very good scenario for Fox, and I've said it so many times why, so I'm sure you guys can guess. 
If you're not lined up for a fair drag down tech chase, another thing you can do is do a simple up smash if you want to end your combo early. Something I recommend for the lower level, or you can do a bear if that's how you react, or just a normal fair. You can even do up airs if you are ready. It all depends on your positioning when you land this auto cancel there and what your opponent's positioning is as well. Next is going to be my favorite on the list is the auto cancel dare loops on heavies. This is a very funny thing to do and it works very well on them. You can keep them in there for a good while if you mix it, um, if you read their DI and you can finish it off with an up air or a back air. Okay, that's it for mid percents. Now we're going to be moving on to higher percents. Anything that combos in percent range of 70 to 120 is what we're going to be talking about. Let's go. All right, we're going to be starting off with the bread and butter killer. We have soft nair into up smash. Soft nair into up smash is probably going to be how you get most of your kills as a fox main. It is very strong and it is your most reliable kill option. Another thing we're going to have for nair is nair dash attack. I know you're going to be asking yourself, why would I do nair dash attack when I can nair up smash? And the answer to that is actually very simple. If you know your character and you know the character you're going against, you should be able to tell when your up smash is not going to kill and you don't want to stale it. So you'll just go for a near dash attack to not stale that option. Next, we're going to have soft nair into down smash. This is going to be very good for people who have poor recoveries and are trying to DI for up smash. They naturally DI out and that's putting them further towards the blast zone. Not to mention the down smash ends at a very crazy angle that puts them downwards and very hard for them to get back from. Next, we're going to be having soft nair into grab. Obviously, the same thing as soft nair dash attack. You're going to want to use this if you don't want to bring your up smash and stale it when it's not going to kill. The only difference here is that it's going to be very good for positioning. Now, this is where things are going to be a little harder. You have soft nair leaning in with into forward smash. This is harder because you have to lean in and make sure your opponent's slightly into you when you hit this. But it is a very good DI mix up on people when they are again DIing for up smash. People will mostly will be DIing for up smash because that is Fox's primary kill option. Okay, so this combo is something that I would never recommend going for. I've hit this just off pure reaction and it is labbed. It is something that you can do. And that is landing a soft nair into a dash back, dash forth, dash attack, late hit into a bear or an up smash. It is a true combo, a very hard combo to hit, but it is doable. I put this in here because uh, it's cool. It's pretty freaking cool. And here, this is the standard at two high percents. You are going to be in positions where up smash is just not a true combo from Nair anymore. So you're going to have to learn how to react or read your opponent well and get an up smash. Dash tag gets a little funky when we hit these percents, mainly the ones that you're going to be converting off for late hits. Because if you are able to hit a late hit dash tag at higher percents, it will often lead to a kill. Starting off, we're going to have late hit dash tag into bear. This kills especially if they're DIing away because they just got hit by dash attack it is a very strong option at ledge and it's one of the things that makes flocks ledge trapping very deadly at a lower percent you could actually hit dash attack lay hit into f smash and it props it up just high enough to get kicked in the face it kills very early if you hit this at later percents you can go for late hit dash attack at the ledge into up smash instead of f smash this only works if they're DIing in however if they are DIing out, that's when you would go for the standard backer instead of up smash or up smash. Moving on to up tilt. If you hit the front hit of up tilt, you can hit a bear. At ledge, this can be pretty deadly, and if people are DIing away, it will surely kill. If the positioning ends up different, you can go for up tilt up air instead. If they DI in, then up tilt up air or up tilt backer might not even convert. But if they don't DI in and you just get the raw hit up up tilt, you have to react to whether it's going to be a bear hit or an up air hit. It just depends on where they end up going, how close they are to you rather. Similar to up air and back air, hitting up tilt front hit into up smash is a combo. And it can kill very early because you were hitting the top hit of up smash. Now for the back hit up tilt, we could actually hit up tilt into fair drag down. Hitting this obviously leads into a tech chase scenario, which can lead into a kill if you are good enough. Blending detail at this percent won't get you much unless your opponent DIs in, in which case you can go for a rising fair, a rising bear, or even a rising up air. The meatiest conversion you can get on down tilt with no DI or DI in is down tilt into down air, rising down air into rising back air. It is a hard conversion to get, but you are clean as hell if you get it. 
FTL makes another appearance in this high percent range, except it's not nearly as good. If they don't DI properly, it could lead to a tech chase scenario, which could lead to a kill. But otherwise, if they do DI properly and DI up, it will not lead to any tech chase whatsoever. Sided B being its most linear at high percent leads into a friendly kill of up air. Not really having to worry about where you space this move, you should have enough time to run and hit the up air no matter where you do it. Backer follows the common trend of not doing much other than setting up tech chase scenarios at higher percents. At this point it is used for a poking tool or a tool to just get your opponent off stage and pressure the hell out of them. Up air gets a little trickier at these percents. This is starting to be where up air can actually kill off of single hit. You can do a falling up air single hit into up smash and get the kill versus most of the cast. There are some people who could avoid it, but not everyone. If you do hit both hits of falling up air or even just a second hit, you could convert it into another up air or sometimes even a bear if the DI is different. If you hit a falling up air on a platform and you could lead them into another platform on battlefield, it is very strong to force them into a fair drag down tech chase scenario. You can't really do this all the time on the raw stage like FD because uh, the stage will be too low and your opponent will be too high to drag them all the way down without them just getting out of tumble. So you need a platform to do this conversion. The most important thing to know about comboing with Fox isn't to just force every combo. You really need to understand when your combos are not going to chain together. And when that happens, you really just need to play patient. You need to wait to see what your opponent's going to do next. Flicker your shield to drop a parry if they throw an attack. Do stuff like that. If they go for jump, they go to air dodge, you capitalize off that. Don't just move around and put yourself somewhere. Don't just throw out hitboxes that aren't going to work. And don't try to force anything because you're just going to get yourself killed. In all scenarios, even with some other characters, but mainly for Fox, if you hit someone and you can't link the next hit, see how they're going to react. See what they're going to do, because you'll most likely be able to punish that next. That is it, and that concludes our episode three of Fox's Combos and Routes.